this is the once in a lifetime opportunity. I get to hand rear two four week old blue throated macaws. Guys, take a look. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all are having an amazing day so far. Guys, I know I am because guess what? You are not gonna believe it. This is the once in a lifetime opportunity. I get to hand rear two four week old blue throated macaws. Now, if some of you may not know what hand rearing is, it's where you raise these little baby birds until they are ready to go to their new home, until they are eating on their own. Guys, I am so excited to show you these little babies. They are just the cutest things ever. But before I hop into today's video, I wanna give you an update on the nest, guys. You are not gonna believe it. I'm just, I am so shocked. So guys, right there was where the nest fell down previously. But guys, the mom made another nest. Now you can see that this nest is so much bigger than the other one, guys. And you're not going to believe something else. There are two eggs in here. Now usually when a mom picks a spot to make her nest and lay her eggs and raise her babies there, she will continuously come back until she, you know, successfully raises her babies until they are ready to fly out of the nest and be little birdies like their own. So until she successfully raises some babies on her own, she is gonna keep coming and coming back and making as many nests as she can. So guys, now let's get straight into making some baby food for these little babies because they are hungry little babies. It's the morning time and it is time for them to eat. All right guys, so I have everything set up to feed these little baby macaws. So we have our 60cc syringe right here to feed these little babies. And we have the cup to put the formula in and we are gonna weigh these babies because I have to weigh them every morning before each feeding. And now what that is going to determine is their weight and how much these babies have actually gained before I put more food into their crop. Now we do that because according to their weight and that's how much formula we give these guys. Now, the lady I got these baby macaws from gave me this formula, which is really, really good for having these babies grow. It has omega-3 and it is excellent. And we also need a thermometer because believe it or not, these babies will only eat the formula or drink the formula when it is between 100 and 105 degrees. So let's get into making some formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn this on, but before I do that, I'm gonna fill it up with some water. And what this does is it heats up the water really, really fast. Now I'm gonna let this sit right here and turn it on so it can heat up while I put the formula in the little 60 cc syringe. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop it in just like this and it's gonna take a, a little bit. Okay, see we're halfway there guys, just a little more, okay, oh, some spilled out, whoops, okay, okay, see we're almost there guys, we're going to put a little more, okay, now there, that is about good, now I'm going to fill it up to 60 cc's, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into this cup just like that. Now once this water is heated up, I am going to put about 60 and then 20. Now we do that because on the back of this bag, it says right here, when hatchlings up to two days, get one part per six parts of water. Now these guys are about four to five weeks, so they're definitely past that five day mark. Now when it says five days to weaning right here, you're gonna put one part of the formula and one to one third or two parts. So that's what we're gonna do. Now the water is pretty good. We don't want it too hot because we don't have to want to wait a little bit until it cools down because this, this gets pretty, pretty hot. So if you look right here, I'm, if you can see it, I'm just gonna fill it up to 60. Right there, oh, okay, we're gonna dump some of that out. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna pour it right in right there. And then I'm gonna do 20. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna 
pour it in just like that. Now that I pour the water in, you can see that the formula in the water is not mixed up. So I'm just gonna mix it up. So all of the formula is mixed in evenly with the water and you wanna make sure because you might see that it looks like it's mixed in, but if you look on the bottom, you still see that dry formula. So we just wanna make sure that it is all nice and evenly mixed. Wow, this glass is burning hot. You can see that this glass is completely getting foggy. Now that it is evenly distributed, you can see that it is really, really thick. Now that's why we have Digest Gold that the vet gave me to, you know, help them digest the food and get all the nutrients from the food. And it actually liquefies the food a little bit because if I give these babies this thick of food, these babies are gonna choke and that that is not good. So I'm just gonna open this right here. And this came in pill form, but I undid the pills and put it in this little bottle right here so it's easier. So if you look right here, I am barely going to put any. And a little goes a long way, guys. Now if you look over here, it's already getting a lot thinner now i'm gonna need to add a little bit more okay there we go that might be good let's see now guys just look at the difference between when we started and when we added such little of the digest gold it's a lot more liquidy as you can see right here so it's going to be perfect for these little babies now what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to take my thermometer right here i am going to open it up turn it on and check the temperature of this food now it is definitely going to be extremely hot see it keeps it keeps going up 116 120 yeah it's gonna need a little bit to cool down so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave the formula right here to cool down and we are gonna run and weigh these babies right now so guys i'm gonna wake up these little babies to show you guys let me turn the light on so i set up this little nest box right here and the vet gave me this to heat it up and it gets pretty warm but thankfully it does not burn the plastic and now what i did is i cut a little hole out right here so it feels like a little nest and i put some bedding and these babies are just absolutely obsessed with it guys take a look these are two four to five week old blue throated macaws now you can see that their feathers are not coming in yet they're little fluff balls you can only see their pin feathers around their wings and around their head and they are just the cutest things ever hi hi what are you doing do you like that bedding is that comfortable so guys now it's time to weigh these cute little babies so i have a scale here and i'm gonna turn it on and i weigh these babies in grams so if this thing would turn on for me today hello okay there we go guys so all i want to do is i'm gonna lay a towel in here so these babies feel nice and cozy and all i'm gonna do is perfect i'm gonna lay this bolt right here and then of course i'm gonna have to zero it out now i'm gonna grab the first little baby so come on they're all the way back there come on baby so here we have the first little baby this guy is the cutest little thing ever these babies are huge I have never seen a bird this big, obviously, because this is a macaw. Now, I'm just going to put it in the box right here. Now, this guy, if you look right over here, this guy weighs 677. Now, that is a really good sign because that means this little guy is growing so, so big. Now, I have this little notebook right here to calculate and record their weights because you know if i don't calculate and record their weights these babies might be losing weight and that could be caused from a sickness and if i don't weigh them i am not gonna know so i'm gonna put this little guy back and i am gonna grab the other little one here you go buddy so i'm pulling out the second little baby right here come on buddy hi this 
this this guy is gorgeous whoa 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 let me put you in here it's okay don't freak out these babies are just gorgeous i mean just look how beautiful their feathers are going to be look how vibrant these colors are you are gonna be one gorgeous baby now if you look right here this guy weighs 670 672 it keeps going up and down now this guy is a little behind his brother but it's okay buddy you'll catch up soon hi you are so precious so now i am going to you know write down those weights and calculate how much these babies should be eating so guys if you look right here the food just hit 106 so i am going to run and feed these babies and put this syringe together. So what I like to do is I like to only fill up the syringe to 40 cc's. Now I like to do that because I don't want to possibly shoot a bunch in this baby's mouth and you know aspirate this baby. So I feed them in the nest box so it feels like the mom is feeding them and it kind of stresses them out when you take them in and out and always turning the light off. That's why they're here in my bathroom. It's a quiet place. There's no air vent in here, you know, really blowing air on them. And it is the perfect place for these babies. So I'm going to feed this baby right here. So we are just going to feed the first baby right here. Now, if you look right here, I am coming from the left side of the baby shooting across because that is where the throat is and if you see that bobbing that is because the baby is you know bobbing its head for the mom to feed it and that's when you want to shoot a little formula in there now if they're not bobbing their head and you put the syringe in it and shoot some formula in there now you may drown and aspirate these babies so i like to give them a little breather let him swallow it get a little taste of it let it go to his crop and then i'm all i'm gonna do is once he's all swallowed the formula i put it back in there and i wait till he bobs his little head just like that and i squirt just about 10 cc's in there and then i let this little baby swallow you can see how good he is doing buddy you're eating so good so guys this little baby ate a good 30 cc's of formula now we have about 15 left and we still have to give it 20 more because it needs to reach 60 now obviously these babies might not finish the entire syringe and that is totally fine because we can just make up for it next feeding so i'm just gonna try again to feed this baby a little more food look how cute this little baby is stretching his wings and being a cute little baby bird he is, I decided to take him out of the nest to, you know, see if he would eat a little better. And you can see that he is almost completely done. And if you look right here, this is the crop and you can just see how full it is. Now, this is where they keep all of their food and it it, it is like their little storage. So you can tell that this guy is eating well and getting all of the food and nutrients he needs. Oh, buddy, you took a little poop. So guys, you can see that this little baby bird has a little bit more of formula to go. But if I just put my hand just like this and this baby doesn't start bobbing his head, then, you know, I'm not going to force feed this baby because that can cause aspiration. So what I'm going to do is since this baby is clearly full and ready to go back into the nest i'm gonna pick him up and support his little legs like this okay come on buddy and just put him in right here and then i'm gonna run to the kitchen and get some more food ready for his siblings so guys i'm just gonna use the little formula that was left over from the other little sibling and i'm just gonna fill it up like this to see how much i have so let me just squeeze it all up in here and I have about 40. So all I'm gonna need to add is 20 more cc's. So all I'm gonna do is squeeze it out just like this, pull this out like that and fill up 20 cc's of powder in the tube again. So guys, I have 20 cc's right here. I'm just gonna pour it in just like that and I'm gonna fill this up with 20. 20 cc's of water and I reheated the water so it's nice and warm for these little babies and I'm gonna pour it in just like that and then I'm gonna mix it up to see if I need any more water so let's see if I need any more water 
Guys, that is a perfect consistency. Now I'm not gonna need to add any more Gold Digest because it was mixed in already from the other formula. So all I'm gonna need to do is let this cool off. And guys, this is probably gonna be super extremely, extremely hot. So let's see what this is at. 103, okay, 104. Let's mix it. 106. Oh guys, this just this just keeps going up. So guys, the temperature is at 106 and it cooled down just perfectly. So I'm gonna take this out and run to these babies before it cools down too much. So guys, before I get into feeding the other little baby macaw, I just wanna show you the difference between a full crop and a crop that has no food. So if you look right here, this is the little baby macaw that I just fed. You can see his little fat pouch right there. You're so cute, look at that. That's so now that's where all the food is now if you take a look at the sibling right here hi you're so beautiful you can see that there is no food in this baby the crop is completely emptied out so we are gonna get this baby nice and plump with some food so guys i got the 40 cc's for the other little baby right here and i'm just gonna feed this little guy come on hold oh, up this guy is so so hungry Oh, you got some food in you. Here we go. Oh, yeah. These guys are one powerful eaters when they start bobbing their head when they're super, super hungry from a long night. So, guys, we're on the last 20 cc's of formula right here. So, I'm going to see if this guy wants a little more. Look, you can see he's bobbing his head ready for that food. Oh, that tastes so yummy. Oh, it's so good. No crumb. Now I'm just gonna give him a little breather so he can swallow all of that food. Now that these babies are all nice and fed, I'm gonna leave these two here to take a nice little bird nap until their next feeding. But if you look right here, this is a feeding time and how much to eat at every feeding. Now guys, you can see that they didn't eat a full 60, but hey, that's okay. You can see that they did not eat a full 60 here or here. And that's perfectly fine because sometimes, you know, these babies get pretty full from their previous feeding and that is just fine but what i'm gonna do is i am going to leave these babies right here to take a little bird nap bye i will let you sleep guys all right guys now that those little babies are nice and fed and resting up this has to be the most crucial part in taking care of any little baby now what the most crucial part is is sterilizing everything has to be clean to a t if there is one little germ on you know this syringe it could get inside the baby and make the baby very very sick so what i do to sterilize all this stuff is i take this part of the syringe out and i put all of this in here just like that and i rinse it now that everything is rinsed in this little cup right here this in this little spray bottle right here is diluted bleach and all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray it in here and make sure i get the syringes very, very well and just sterilize the sink, sterilize everything because, you know, I don't want to get these babies sick and I don't want to get any other animals sick in case these baby birds have something. So then I just take Dawn soap just like that and just sprinkle it on there and then I rinse everything just like that and I let it soak for a little bit and then what I do after I let it soak is I put it right here and I let it dry and it's that simple just to sanitize all of the supplies really, really well so no baby gets sick. All right, guys, that is going to conclude today's video, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of these cute little baby blue-throated macaws and comment down below a name for them because, guys, I want to pick a name for them. I just don't want to call them baby birds. I want to give them a proper name, guys. And if you want to see them growing up and them as big, big birds, then subscribe to the first link down below.